trains and climb planes and automobiles. Get ready to see driving change your transportation, the seasons. I'm Nick, the project manager and storyteller for the trains and climb planes and automobiles. Let me introduce you to the team, starting with Claudia, my fellow storyteller. Hi, I'm Claudia, and I, alongside Nick, am also a storyteller, as well as the artist of our group. Hi, I'm Kylie, I'm the technician. Hi, I'm Kieran, one of the mechanics of our group. And I'm our other mechanic, Lucius. I'm also the head engineer. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm the material specialist, as well as the photographer for it. Hi, I'm Mackenzie. I am the general master for our team, and last but not least. Hi, I'm Mariana, the step chief of our team. Now that you've met the amazing team members who've worked so hard to build this machine, let's get started. We interpreted the theme of driving change with the epitome of change, the seasons. As our modes of transportation evolve, so do the years and seasons. Unfortunately, most of these modes are harmful to the environment, releasing uh, carbon monoxide and toxins into the air. The fuel used to operate trains and airplanes are producing harmful emissions into the atmosphere and oceans. If we continue the habits we have acquired as a society which cause these environmental issues, we may not see the seasons any longer. With pollution and global warming on the rise, we may lose the seasons as early as 2050. This is why we need to find more renewable transportation methods that use more renewable resources. Electric cars and trains yes, that's are a step towards a better future with our seasons and nature intact. That is why we concluded our machine, which mostly consists of old harmful modes of transportation, with a hot air balloon. Hot air balloons use heat drives without any harmful emissions, making it 100% clean for the environment. We are looking to the future of transportation with more renewable methods, and with our seasons and nature intact. We went above and beyond when it came to incorporating our advanced components. We included two steps of hydraulics, one to start off our machine, and one on the tower in our spring section. For our electrical step, we incorporated an electrical trolley at the bottom of our summer chair in our summer section. We decided to end on a bang, though not a very literal one, with the chemical reaction. Baking soda, and, uh, baking soda and vinegar are mixed to inflate the hot air balloon. Lastly, it's almost impossible to locate all the mechanical steps in the machine. Without simple machines, not much would be possible. Some of them include the inclined planes, the cars, the first class lever and fall, and more. We avoided disagreements as teammates by sticking to the engineering design process. The engineering design process consists of five steps. Finding the problem, researching, generating solutions, selecting a solution, and evaluating that said solution. We found the first problem by asking the question of what we wanted to accomplish. Take, for example, the plinko board on the trolley. We needed to find a way in order for the ball to go into the trolley. To research, we will all watch examples of other machines online. Then we met as a team and discussed. Before we discovered the plank board option, we were trying to find ways to delay a ball's fall to the ground. Then we brainstormed. We often met together and did nothing but share what we got on the whiteboard. Next, we selected a solution. For each step, we discussed and then decided on what solution would work best for us. Our solution was the plank board. Then we examined and evaluated that solution. We evaluated the solution of the plank board. We found it didn't work because the nails were too close together. So we started the process clean over. We got some headaches from this for sure. Speaking of headaches, I never thought the Daniel Tiger Challenge would bring so much difficulties to our group. And not just the obnoxious song it plays on loop. So we ended up connecting a funnel to the top of our trolley, hoping that when the golf ball fell inside of it, it would press down on the button and start. It worked occasionally, but was not as consistent as we had hoped. So we built a popsicle stick tower of sorts around this funnel to kind of center it. It worked occasionally and again was consistent. After much trial and error, we got it to a consistent state. It was quite literally a trolley problem. On top of that, we also had trouble with the hydraulics. We couldn't seem to get it to work. Luckily, by relocating the birdhouse several times, we got it working. We all learned that the solution is sometimes a very strange one, like building a tower of popsicle sticks. Despite all these complications, we persevered and stuck together as a team. No matter how frustrated we got, we always listened to each other. Our machine relies heavily on the basics of physics, of course. We started as high on the backboard as we could so we could get the most potential energy to start off our machine. Height gives us an advantage is what it allows us to do many things, like knocking off the weight on the toy car. Thanks to the height and velocity of the airplane, we also incorporated a mouse trap, the spring that snaps through the small amount of force, like a toy car bumping into something, into a force much bigger, which pulls a wooden sled. As for the helicopter on the North Pole, which is a spinning pendulum, it hits in the height, it hits in the height of its swing, therefore transferring most of its force. Without further ado, our team, the trains, inclined planes, and automobiles, would like to present to you driving change through transportation, the seasons. Three, two, two one. one.
Yay! Nice job.